Well, the neighborhood may have taken a slight turn for the worse over the decades, but one structure still stands tall as venerable center city field will Brian Hurst will be the batter. Brian Hurst. Now a fastball, and he might have gotten under it just a bit as this is out toward deep right field. Rayner will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. Brian Hurst will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. That a boy. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Brian Hurst will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. And now the bat explodes as this has popped up. Aramillo has a bead on it, and he's got it two down. And this is how it's been all night for this whole lineup. Guys are just not coming up with solid contact. Here's another instance where this pitch is right. Brian Hurst will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Now a slider swung on and lifted into shallow center field. Hernandez comes on now and he has it one down. Well, the neighborhood may have taken a slight turn for the worse over the decades, but one structure still stands tall as venerable center city field will play host to aspects at the AAA level. Here's one right here. A lot of folks think he probably needs some more seasoning down here, but he's definitely on the radar as a future big league. Brian Hurst will move towards the batter's box as we're just about set to get underway tonight. And he swings under the curveball here as this is lifted to shallow center field. Hernandez comes on now and he has it one down. Brian Hurst will step in now. Now a ball lined toward right center. And that's a base hit. And this is something they've worked on in the batting cages, taking some of the movement out of his swing. It's much more compact now, and he's seeing some definite results. Robinson Diaz will dig in here. See the logic of working this guy up in the zone. Here's the 1-0. Runner goes for second. Pitches a cold strike, the throw. And he got him at second on a perfect throw. And this all gets back to footwork here. Catchers can be the slowest guys in the league, but the good ones have quick feet. And he's got this guy dead to rights here. Josh Harrison steps in now. Swing and a ball lifted into straightaway center. Hurst is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Ryan Hurst will step in. One for two in the ball game. 2-2 two -two offering. That a boy. And a strike three here, but now the ball gets away. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for out number one. Good two strike curveball had him fishing that time. The ball gets away for a quick second, but not far enough that he can make it to first as they recover and throw him out. Brian Hurst will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through into right, so a leadoff single here to start the seventh. Leadoff base hit here is going to bring the tying run to the plate here in the late going. Now the wheels are really going to start to turn. Robinson Diaz. Now a throw over. And it's in time. He's out at second as a good relay gets him. This was an instance where he was running on first movement, but once the pickoff move came, he was hung out to dry. Xavier Nash will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Line hard to center field. Hurst is there, and he has it for the first down. to keep and lead consistently you're falling all or nothing 
please, I'll tweak it out. I think I'm